All right, people, welcome back. This is more Dando commentary. So we have Slate here again. We got, got, yeah, we got Slate here, but we also got Rescue Cat 101. No. Rated 1060. <laughs> and we got Mexipo Mexipodal rated 1132. So Mexipodal, we don't know what he's using yet, but clearly see that Rescue six, Cat is using them six spammer eyes. Six Sams, dude. Oh. How are we finding like such a diverse building network meta? Like honestly, I expected we just saw like Burning Abyss and TCG and Necroz and OCG, like nothing else. And maybe like some heroes, because you know, heroes are, you know, heroes. Oh, okay. Oh, there's those so, vanities. vanities. Yeah, so the, the six Samurai United will get put back on the field because obviously he's not going to trigger it if he only has one summon. God, vanities, you're still expensive. <laughs> Yeah, 30, I, was, I looked at it earlier because I was I was telling you, you know, I draw vanity so much that, you know, I, I'm thinking about running it in Necroz, but, you know, no, I'm not going to actually do that. Yeah, I got rid of my vanity, so. But they were common, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was like, screw it. I didn't want to play like that. <laughs> well, he I'm thought sorry. that it just said a card in the sense of the film the field to the graveyard, period. <laughs> like, now what? You're That's still just kind of sitting there. Wait, pe people struggled with that ruling like a year ago. <laughs> it says, wow. It, it says you're right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Volcanics versus Vol Six Sam. Ooh. Am I ever excited for this matchup? This is going to be a good one. I want to see this. Ah, the only problem is Shin can go ahead and negate the freaking reload, but then the reload is like in the graveyard. You can go ahead and wipe this Shin off the field. I don't think I don't think he has access to. Sh oh wait, never mind. That's asceticism. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice and powerful asceticism. Yeah, like I'm. I'm not dumb. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually okay. So I don't know if you've ever heard. Of, oh, okay. So he doesn't have access to Shian. Okay. Oh, it has to be equal attack. Right. 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 I'm so used to just seeing a yeah, but, summon something for Shien that I guess I did that wrong in my I head. I thought I thought that he could target Kageki and get out the level two. Isn't there a level two tuner with? Oh wait, no, because Kageki was at was boosted already. Yeah. So never mind. Okay, that's my fault. Um, have you ever seen Crow Cresta's story of the Six Samurai? Mm -mm. He made okay, so he basically. Um, it's like it's like subtitles, and it has music to it, and it's just like the six samurai. Like he cut out the you know he made renders of the six samurais, and he has them like talk to each other, and it goes through a story, and it has like all these cards on it. Like it has um, like Ma Masugen, whatever you know, Magatama, like that trap card it has asceticism on it. It has debunk, like it, it just goes through all these different cards, and it like shows the story of the six samurai, like like the story that the cards tell. So it's 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 an amazing series. He has a couple other ones. Like he has a spellbook one that I watched. He's he's really good. At them. Why are you giving someone else a shout out on my video? I, I wasn't giving him a shout out actually. I was just trying to like start conversation. I don't understand why his monster is gone. Does uh, this is some read? It does it pop during the end phase? I don't know. I don't know, I don't remember. I, like I said. I said this is just that card, and I'm just like, oh, it's a machine. <laughs> oh my god, I know nothing about six samurais. Hello? Oh, the power of it's that reckless Rickless. greed. I mean, you know, if you're not playing a combo deck, play no reckless greeds. But if you're playing a combo deck, play three reckless greeds. Ooh, it's not so what do you think about Reckless and Cleepert? Cleepert can run Reckless. I used to run Reckless. Yeah, during the end uh, of phase okay. of this turn, destroy the selected monster. Oh, nope, he's just, nope, he's not going to activate double-edged sword technique. He's going to pull it back down, you know, because, you know, why not? <laughs> Are you going to detach? Yeah, he definitely needs to detach. Yeah. No, no doubt about it, he has to detach. 
You gonna message him? Yeah. Message his opponent. There you go. I'm saying. <laughs> You can't just go dwell or effect and just announce it without the detats. Need the detats to even activate it. Then you get. Oh, we chain. got the blaze accelerator reload. We got the pitching scatter shot. No. Nope. Boom. And here we go. And the cool thing that. about scatter shot is that um, the ruling, I believe, it was changed. I know how it is now for sure, but for some reason, I think that it used to be different. So um, you, you, they take fifteen hundred burn. Uh, I was told on Facebook that it used to be they only take five hundred, but you know, and apparently that was changed. But all I know is that for sure now you take fifteen hundred burn, so you know. Yeah, you take from, you take five hundred from each scatter shot. Yep. So I think that's excellent. So yeah. fifteen hundred adds up. Like I saw, um, some people are uh, teching one magic cylinder into the main deck or the side deck. I've even seen. Yeah. They're like leap So yeah. you know. They plus, pretty they burn, they draw, they plus, they burn, they draw. The deck is that's fairly it's like a well oiled I mean, machine with the revival one card. It's very but, powerful. Scatter shot. The draw, it was, the, they, they got exactly what they needed, they needed draw power, you know what I mean? They needed the draw power. Um, and they also needed the, the discard outlet, and that's what Blaze Accelerated Reload did. Like, yeah. uh, the Volcanics have some really good graveyard effects, so. And, and I mean, ro uh, Rocket, yeah, that card right there, Rocket's amazing. 1900 beater lets you search out your reload, so. And it's, it's like a Satellar Knight, it's just whenever it's summoned by any means, so you, people play Summoner Monk. Mm-hmm. Bring out Rocket. And also, notice that it's deck or graveyard. So you can uh, recycle the accelerator load with it, too. If you don't banish it. Yeah, go ahead and pitch, draw, pit, draw. Pay for 100, pay for draw. It's like its own little well-oiled machine. It's pretty good. If you were playing Volcanics, Daniel, would you run um, Doomfire? Because you can send reload. Mm, no. That is that is probably that one. Bad. Uh, Doomfire has a really good effect, though. Do, okay, I realize they can be dead, and I realize that reloads a huge asset. But Doomfire's effect is like crazy. What? That your opponent attacks him? Yes. Like ooh. Let me read. I remember this This got like a tin, didn't it? Like it was that popular. Mm -hmm. I think I have like a damaged uh, secret doom fire <laughs> from back in the day. Alright, what do we got here? Not a normal summoner set. So it's custom by sending a face up tri blaze accelerator to control the graveyard. I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's treated as tri blaze accelerator, right? Yes, it is. During your opponent's battle phase, your opponent must attack with the monster with all attacks with the monsters they control. When the card is chosen, the opponent's monster battles the graveyard, destroy all monsters your opponent controls, and inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each monster served by this effect. Oh, shit. Oh. Wildfire. Negate, yeah. Oh, shit. shit. God, Wildfire is a fucking great ass card. I saw that being tacked, definitely. Um, the person who got first in Swiss at Charleston. Uh, main one. That's good. That's a good card. Yeah, especially because they can just um. No. Banish the. No, she is not faster. <laughs> <laughs> she <Sienna> is slower. <laughs> um. Especially because they can just he can just banish his uh. His reload now. Mm -hmm. he, oh, he can use the reload in the graveyard. That was a nice play. It's like having another Bob, another Bob fucking really wiper. Quick plays are just insane. Yo, imagine if he top decks like a uh, a uh, a guards. Damn, he's really paying them life points. If he has a royal firestorm guards. Nah. If he gets a royal, if he top decks a royal firestorm guards. Yeah. <laughs> I caught it. Shuffle back those scatter shots. Yep. Oh no, shell. No yeah, problem. What's he's, he's well, what's the shuffle back shell when he has 500 life points? Oh, Wait, he needs. Another. Yeah, he gets another shell. 
My fault, my fault. Yeah, so I can't really play Shell anymore. This card is broken, like... He gets to draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. They can fill the graveyard so up. easily, because the deck is four. Yeah. That's all they it's need, a, it's... It's, it's a plus two. World yep. Fires of Cards yep. is a plus two that recycles. It's like a better pot of Avarice. Yep. yep. And it's a 17 body, too. Yep. Which is not bad at all. Yep. If, it, if, if Volcanics ever become tier one, like, this is the card to hit right here. Royal Fire Storm Guards. Yep. Yep. Ooh, deep prison. <clears throat> yep. But, you know, it doesn't matter because he went plus two and recycled four cards. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's so broken. It's over. You think so? Should be careful with that token. The only thing, oh yeah, because it gets it goes wrong first. The only thing is, I think that, I guess that's where the burn helps because I don't think volcanics can't like they can't really storm the field. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're a slow deck. That's why they run a they're, lot of well, back. Well, I wouldn't say they're the slow. It's just they don't have like. What are you talking Explosive about? They're play. fucking slow as fuck. Like, when, I've never seen a volcanic player explode. It's always been normal summon, normal summon. That's why. That's why they gotta summon. play doom fire. <laughs> <laughs> Playing doom fire, man. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I I think doom fire is a little bit better than it's giving credit for. Like, I don't know if I'd play it, but I definitely test it. I mean, it's I, better because of try. I mean, it's better because of reload. At least I'll give him that. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, GG. Yeah. Oh, I'll give him that. It's the a little Phoenix bit better. Sheen, the Phoenix chain on the Sheen was the, the deciding factor. And I guess the top deck of the of the um real five strong guards helps too. You know, the only question is do you want to destroy your reload? That's the question. Uh well doesn't it its its effect says that You can banish it to send a volcanic card from your deck to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So even if you send it to the graveyard with Doomfire, you can still use it to like trigger a scatter shot or get your shells loaded up. You know what I mean? You can, but that's the question: Do you, do you want to send it to the graveyard right after time? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I so, think that, so, you know, that can get rid of. Okay, so it, you can only activate one Blaze Color Reload effect per turn. So um, since it's searchable with Rocket, you know you get the problem of having too many. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that I think Doomfire can help with that too. Like I don't think I don't think they're ever at a shortage of Blaze Accelerator right, reloads. Yeah, because it seems rocket. like if they were, it seems like if they wanted to run Doomfire, they'd run Doomfire, especially since they got that fire, a quick play spell. So seems, what's the what's the problem then? You think the problem is not wanting to get rid of reload? I think no. I think the problem is, is that I think they'd rather run their own Regeki through that fire that flash fire than run Doomfire. It's what it's not called. What's it called? It's not flash fire. I forgot. Wildfire. Wildfire. Wild. I think a flash fire. Flash fire would be yeah. better. What's flash fire? Oh, a better name, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Especially since it's a quick play spell. Whatever. <laughs> oh, like flash fusion. Some shit, all players were taking flash fusion um, after the trapless build became a thing. Because you uh, you know how in the shit all mirror match, how you want to get rid of your construct in um, window by tributing it tribute setting it for a beast mm -hmm. uh you know so they can't shut off fusion from the deck so flash fusion destroys the shadow monster and lets you get your fusion spell back in the end phase so that you wouldn't need it to waste the beast in your hand did he just draw three cards i no he only needs five in his hand wait he would have had two monsters in his hand and then the spell that draws so I would leave him two cards in his hand. So yeah, I guess he did draw three. Right, right? Because yeah. he, he starts yeah. with five. Yeah. Because he's going first, right? So he starts with five. Is he going first? I mean, he's going and the other guy doesn't have anything on his field. <laughs> he lost, so I assume he'd be going first. Like first turn Sienna is like the thing that six Sams do. Seemed like he did. It seemed like I saw him. He summon, summon, five cards, see. right? I saw him summon, normal, summon. Normal special. Draw. Activate, yeah. Draw. Then I saw. Then I saw him draw again. I could have sworn I saw three draws. 
Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm going crazy. But 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 just count cards. Yeah, you but count cards. You, you you shouldn't have that many cards right now. Like I guess we can watch it when you post this video. But like he activates the spell, summons two monsters, so that means he has two cards left in his hand. Mm-hmm. And then he draws activates two. So he should have four cards in his hand. Four. So why four. the fuck did he have five? Because then he just special summoned keys on. So like what the hell? Yeah. All right, we got an asceticism. I don't. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess we just have to Dude, debate I mean, about it. Okay. Uh, uh, he said no, and then, like his opponent, maybe I don't know, maybe it's a glitch or something. Well, I mean, let's just let's just root for the volcanic guy then. I know. <laughs> no, I'm just like hello. <laughs> He's just like no, I didn't draw another card. Like really? That's not <laughs> how you draw another card. You shouldn't be up like this. Why does no one ever play the six samurai XDs? Uh, he's okay. I mean, he just really doesn't pull off much. Okay. Okay, I guess Excalibur and Blade Armor Ninja are usually better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, they're... What's the point of going into that? Free up space. Okay. If he, act if he summons the third monster, then it would... Oh, nope, okay. So I don't know why I went to Excalibur. I guess he just wanted to go into Excalibur. Alright. Maybe there's some combo play that we don't know. Yes. But he's gonna he's gonna activate limited variance force and go into Pleades. Sure. Actually I think that needs to target a number, so never mind. Yeah, that has to target a number. Oh he didn't even detach from it. Nope. From, from he didn't even make it four thousand. Like what the hell? I guess he wants to use it on his turn so he can attack with it. See what I mean? Look, he opened Rocket, so therefore he has a, a, a reload. Like, mm -hmm. it's already there. Whatever. I just, I like, I hate playing against Volcanics because the Blazing Killer reload is like a bitch to deal with because if you destroy it, then you just banish it and get like a, a scatter shot to book the field. But I like watching them play because like their plays are so fun. You know, they just come back. Look at that. Five back row. I know. Very. Deck has a lot of back row. Vanities. No, not vanities. <laughs> Nigga. Whoops. Nigga. <laughs> Let it he go. He did it on accident, though. Like, I think that was an honest mistake. <laughs> Let it go. That's fine. That play is fine. Go ahead and allow him to activate. Make the guy go across his phases, because Blaze the Accelerator Reload can only be activated in the main phase, you know? Like, if he activates Blaze Accelerator Reload right now, the other guy could be like, oh wait, I'm still in my draw phase, MST or some shit. Oh, Rackless. Well, that's really risky, but alright. Why wouldn't he do it on his next turn, though, like after he draws? I guess uh, he wanted this turn to count as one this upcoming turn. Instead of doing it at his draw phase, I guess. So it wouldn't count? You... I don't know. What are you talking about? You skip your own standby phase. I don't know. So that, that made no sense. Unless he's looking for. Oh, he's looking for a good card to discard for Blaze Accelerator Reload. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got it now. Holy so shit. So we see the double-edged sword technique out of nowhere. Vanities. I guess this is an OTK, apparently. But wait, the other guy has Vanities. I guess he's baiting it out just so she can negate, I guess. But then he might have, he'll probably have Fiendish Chain. Like last time. I wonder if this guy is running that, um, what's that card called? No, magic more... Planter? Yeah, Magic Planter. The, um, the guy that went 10-0 the he ran he ran two and he said it was he said it was like amazing for him like he said it was a really good card for him uh, at the event i mean it seems like it'd be a really good card with you know blaze accelerator and fiendish running, chains and vanities running, yeah, running and fiendish chain isn't that bad like the thing i'm thinking about with fiendish chain is that um Trevor can bounce your fiendish chains too you know you know how some stellar knights like they bounce call the haunted and oasis of dragon souls with their traverse so they can reuse them mm-hmm so, so um, you know, it also bounces all your opponent's shit. So, you know, they can have all the haunted. Like in the mirror match, triple my really bad. Oh, okay. Who did it on summon? Oh, Jesus Christ! Regeki again? Regeki. Regeki son. That's game, obviously. What's counter do? It'll 
burn him for 200 or 1700. When you pick dial damage, you can banish it and inflict damage. It's to not. It's not. It's not. It's not. You can. It's mandatory. Oh really? Yeah. So it's whatever. The, like if he attacks with the lowest attack, he has to banish it. Oh okay. Yeah, it's one of those old school cards. It's not everything's not if you can back in the days of GX. It's a when banish. Which what's the point of when ban like when mandatory? It should be if mandatory. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Seek has to banish it. Okay. Yep, so they both take seventeen. If it was optional, man, counter would be amazing. Yeah. You'd be able to prevent the highest attack every turn. And until they do it, and then you, you know, mm, banish it. Mates. Xi'an. Is that game? Or you got something up your sleeve? There's a trap there. The trap does shoot. What? Actually, the shoot wouldn't really help at all. <laughs> yeah, I was say, what the fuck would trap shoot? <laughs> a, trap shoot is man, and B, what the fuck would that do right now? <laughs> oh, yeah, I I wish I played when trap... Oh, counter only works for one attack. What? Yes. Yes, it does. Does he think it works for more? Oh, shit, I suck. <laughs> okay. You got in the gate? Okay, so if you need to change the... No, if you need to change the Excalibur. Shen still has this in the gate. Oh, damn. What's... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, but that sucks, because the other guy might have drawn an extra card. What are you talking about? The 6 Sam guy, he won that duel, and we are still not sure if he drew an extra card. Yeah. So, like, we gotta watch this footage, man. We can have a check. What? No, that's only when our mateys attacks. Yeah. You know how busted our mateys would be if... Yeah, that's only for that attack only, yeah? So you know how busted our mateys would be if he attacked and you couldn't activate anything until the end of the battle phase? Like, holy fuck! Like, our mateys, the fucking... Um, leader of the OTKs. Like, I attack, you can't activate anything until the end of the battle phase. Like, everybody else, get your attacks in. They can't play shit. Like, hell no. <laughs> Hello? Armadies too strong. <laughs> wasn't there, like, the the original Armadies, wasn't it, like, uh, um, it was one of those ancient gear cards, wasn't it? Like, one of the ancient gears is, is like, Armadies. Is it? I know one of them does piercing, uh, but then one of them is like that. Um, Alright, I'm gonna look this up, okay? So, you know, you you watch this duel and commentate for them. Okay. But I can't commentate. I'm playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> Dude. I know, I'm so I don't even know what that is. Seriously? I mean, I've heard of it. I, 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 is it, I mean, do you hunt monsters? Yes. Wow. How invigorating. I am such a better person now that I know what Monster Hunter is. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's my what first a time, time to be alive. It's my first time ever playing it, so. Really? I right, he just went to the classic play. Went to Lovable Chain. Another deck that's making this card go up in price. Yeah, that's what you thought it was. What? When I when we were talking about earlier, remember? Talking no, about I know Necros I know Necros use it too. Yep. Do you know why Necroz uses it? For your Do you know why? Play. Yeah. For your why? Uh, for your Jijin release to play. Alright, what else? I don't know. <laughs> to top to top deck to top deck um Manju and send you, and then you can use Valkyrie's to tribute it off to draw the Manju or send you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Valkyrie do you know what Valkyrie does? You tribute a monster to draw a card. Or yeah. to, or you can tribute two monsters to draw two cards. Um but you know, so you know you can use the Volvo chain to top deck whatever you want to draw. It has to be monster though. It's a good thing that uh, <laughs> it's a good thing that Necros aren't a dark and light deck because then it'd be less like insane crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. Although Valor is gonna become, I mean, there's no dark card, but Valor is gonna become a, a very good side card because you know Necros are all monster effects. Chain again. Yeah. It's getting it's getting chained up like crazy. Chain, Lavable chain, Fiendish chain. 
Yeah, there's lots of chains in Two this chains! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the dumbest thing I've ever said. Alright. <laughs> You really hope this volcanic guy wins, don't you? <laughs> Alright, damn it. You really have to stay in it. Alright. There's the reload. Oh. He but said then no. He said no. He said no. Yeah, the fairy wind. So the the shell will go to the graveyard. But because it's oh no, it's it's not. It's it's not a cost. It's not a cost? It is not a cost. So, the shell doesn't go the way back, right? Yeah, so the shell goes back to... Well, he better put that top deck out before he puts the shell in his hand or it'll go off his hand. Hmm. This, he's going to end up messing up. Yeah, he's going to mess up. He's going to put so the shell in his hand. So, he activates reload, and then he chains Fairwind. You don't pitch for cost, right? Not pitch for cost. So, the shell will go to his hand. And All the card right. that he drew... He drew, right? Yeah, I think he drew... Did he draw? I think so. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's on main phase or standby phase, it still goes to the graveyard. Alright. It's a continuous spell, it has to be face up to resolve. Or a continuous <sighs> trap him. That's yeah. Face up. Um, yeah. Ancient Rescue. Gear Golem. Rescue, you need to take your 600. <laughs> do you know what Ancient Gear does, dude? Yes, I know what Ancient Gear Golem. Yeah, so that's like Armades. Oh, okay. I guess he was Armades before Armades. Tell Mexifoodle to get his shell back. Actually, you, you tell Rescue Cat to take his burn. I'll tell Me I'll tell Mexifoodle to get his shell back. You did. Poodle didn't. Okay. He did. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. I got the wrong person. Rest it's actually makes a. It's actually makes a puddle. <laughs> Not poodle. Uh, I thought it was poodle. I, and did you tell him to get his uh, shell back? Yeah. I don't, he, he didn't respond. I'm, he probably doesn't care. Or maybe he wants it in the graveyard for guards. Sorry. Why'd you draw a card? <laughs> so it was. It was. I'm gonna call him fucking Mex. I'm gonna call him Mexican Poodle. And then take it Let's call it a Chihuahua. <laughs> like Mexican Poodle? Yeah, so he's not gonna have to. Well, he doesn't have a choice. What the fuck? If he doesn't get that shit back to his hand, the game will be an irreparable game state, so he needs to get that shit back. I told him that, dude. It, he's ignoring me. I'll tell Rescue Cat. Like, nigga. Nigga. It's not a cost. You would have never paid. Is it his hand or not? He said he, he said he never sent it. Because what? he did it on a standby phase. So does that mean he's, he added it back? Did I, I miss didn't it? see it. I missed it. Right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. Whatever. Whatever. Because his response to me, he just messaged me back. He's like... He activated um, Fairwind on standby phase, so I never discarded it. So, I mean, I assume that means you put it back in his hand. I guess. I didn't see you get it back to your hand, but sure. Fly Blaster, nice. Oh. That's an Ooh. easy out to, to park you on. Seriously, did you talk like that? <laughs> such, a, such a. Well, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you get out. <laughs> for such a trap heavy deck that the Volcanics are, like you were saying, Mark mm -hmm. uh, hurts a lot. So yeah. That top deck Blaster really helps. Mm -hmm. He's got to be like bottomless, like late or something. When you banish the two, no. Yes. No. Oh wait, yeah, that, that doesn't yes. work, doesn't it? No, I, sorry, I got BLS in the mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's not inherent. Yeah, it's not inherent. It's not. Is it a cost? Yes. Cost, yeah, it is a cost. It is a cost to activate the effect. Yes. You activate it, you banish, and then. Ooh, he did say K. When did he say okay? 
Oh wait, no, that's Mexipotle saying. Yeah, okay. that's Mexipotle saying. Okay. No, I didn't look in chat. Yep, yeah, he's right. No, you didn't. You see, yeah, he asked UK and you said okay, not the other way around. Let's take it back. Take it back. Yeah, you banish two and then you can respond. Yeah, he never said K. E sure. Is that e insurance. Game? Insurance for the modern world. So you're gonna activate vanities? It's the two different artworks of vanities. You saw that? Yeah, he had Mexican poodle, Mexican poodle as a TCG, and he has the OCG. You like the OCG one better, right? Uh, no, like... no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. Damn. Top, Damn. Of... What's the card so what? expensive? Magic Planter? It's yeah. only been printed twice. Holy shit! <laughs> it's so expensive. It, it was. It was. I think it was an ultra, and then it was like a secret in Legendary Collector Five Ds. Let me check on that though. Um, I know. I know it was reprinted in Legendary Collection Five Ds, and that was a big deal. I remember Dual Rock Eighty Eight made a video a while ago talking about cards need to be reprinted, and Magic Planter was his like surprise card because it's only been printed once. Um, but that was like a while. That was a couple months ago. That was like, last year, you know. But here, let me check it. Let me check this out. Magic Planter. Yeah, I think that might be game, depending on what state, how, what can Mexican Poodle get out of the situation. Did Mexican Poodle normal summon? No. Okay, so he didn't, he obviously didn't top pick a Royal Firestorm Guards. Alright, so what we got is, it was a super, that's okay, so I thought it was an ultra, it was a super. It was a super in Raging Battle, and then it was an ultra in Legendary Collection 5Ds. And uh -huh. the, they're, they're both going for Cad. That's the best card. Yep. Well, if we already know what he's getting. I, I didn't see what he... Oh, okay. Yep, nah. that makes sense. <laughs> I didn't see what he, I didn't see what he uh, excavated, so I was like... This video is long as fuck. Oh, Just well. like my dick. Sure. <laughs> wow, wait, duality is a minimum three bucks? Wasn't it like a, a common? Uh... I got reprinted again. It was, it's in the Hero Structure deck as well, so. Jesus shit. <laughs> oh my god. Because I remember it was. Oh, that's good. It was reprinted in the, in the Hero Structure deck with the Ooh. card text that was Ooh. on the ulti. Blaster Pop. Oh, How? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. So I guess he didn't have another from The Volcanic Shell. The Blaster Pop. Nice. Nobody sides for volcanics. Like, what? What do you side? For? We're talking about this. What do you what, side? Yeah, for? That's what makes the deck really good. There's not a lot of shit to side against fucking volcanics. Inside an MST. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, fucking MST is like mandatory main deck right now. Like, MST is the shit. MST is the most played card I, in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if MST is mandatory main deck right now. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna main deck it in Necros. I'm serious. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess please, but like, I don't think it's really good against any other deck. What are you talking about? What I mean, besides Klee, I don't really want to use MST. Yeah, you do. Vanities isn't being played in Burning Abyss or. Uh... You still want to snipe out that freaking Fire Lake, though. I I haven't seen the list of Burning Abyss. So, never mind. I'm just going to stop talking. Yeah, and sure. you want to MST that chain MST to activation of that Call of the Haunted. You're, you're right about that. There were, I think, two Stellar Knights? Three? Three, actually? I think there were three Stellar Knights that topped Charleston. Yeah. It's the only time you so. wouldn't want to play MSTs, I guess, against Stalls, because I know they're not playing Neff. Neff sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kind of. God, God, Neff sucks. Damn it. There's a person at my school whose name is Neff. We call her Neffy, but her name is like Nefertiti. Nefertiti? Nefertiti, that's her name. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because breasts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. Holy shit. God, this guy's aggressive. 
Uh, okay, so he's gonna attack over. What was the point of special summoning? I don't he's know. just gonna attack over that. Seriously. Is that a tuner? Wing blast. Woo! Discard scatter shot! Oh! I wonder how many wing blasts he runs. He got Shrek, man. Probably just one. Yeah. Wing blast is good. Mm hmm. I play one wing blast in my, my um, you know, OCG Gaga deck. The one with, you know, uh, Magic Magic Girl and Gaga Sister. I play one to disc, cause, um, to discard, uh, Magician so I can bring it back with Revenge that I search out with Sister. Mm hmm. Cause I don't like the Emergency Network card because you can't, uh, spell summon except for Exceed Summon, so you can't finish off your play with the Dark, with the Dark Magician from the deck. I don't know why that's relevant. Uh, I guess just cause Wing Blast, but, you know, whatever. I don't run Dark Magician, by the way. I run Trans Thematic Swordsman because he's he's better to draw. He's only got 100 less attack and he's a level lower, so contribute someone if you draw. Him. But blah 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 blah. The duel's over. Yep. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm good. glad the I'm glad the volcanic guy won because I'm still skeptical about that drawing. Yeah, uh, I had to look that up, but because of my point of my point of view, it looked like he drew another card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like calling people cheaters, but it sure did look like it. Well, I mean, you know, we're talking to the viewers like they don't already know. Like, <laughs> clearly, if, if they've already gone back and rewinded the video to see if he cheated or not, so. Mm -hmm. Kind of pointless to talk about it here. Oh, damn. We could talk about that whatever we blast. want. Huh? Yeah, that, that was nice. It's a blaster. That blaster, yep. that blaster went him the duel. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, Barkeon is really good against Volcanics. Yeah. And it's really you to make in six Sams. Yep. I thought that was going to be a big factor in the duel. But that blaster, though. Mm -hmm. We thought he had blaster the first time with the Vendies, but then he still had the blaster pop. And, you know, that's still... So there was any other Dragon Roller. Anyway, let's go ahead and end this video. This video's long enough. So, I hope okay. that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Undo Commentary. Thank you, Slate, for joining me. Oh, yeah. And I'll see you next weekend with some more DM Doe commentary. Alright guys, thanks for watching.